Okay, I thought I'd share my experience fault finding after getting the error code 16. I've got hardware version 4206 and I was getting intermittent uh, errors over the last couple of weeks, just now and again. But then on the uh, Monday night, I went for a ride and got um, just like every time I stopped, there was a stream of uh, code 16 errors and then I couldn't you know, the motor wouldn't engage when I stood on it. So um, I watched the um, CBXR installation video just so I could learn how to get it apart. And it's really important you watch that because especially disconnecting the BMS, if you do it in the wrong order, you can destroy your BMS. So just make sure you watch that. I'll put a link below in the description. Um, sorry about the video quality. Never done this before. See how we go. So error code 16 is usually a comms error between the BMS and the controller. So this is the cable. You unplug it from the uh, battery box, from the controller end and from the battery end. You don't need to take out the uh, gland. I just happen to do that. Um, so there's only actually 5K, 5 wires that go um, between the the small JSA, I think it's a JSA, I don't know what they're called, and the other one. So there's only really five five cables I've got to check. But the problem was I checked them all and I got continuity on the lot. So I just kept persisting. Really, this is kind of a two-person job. Luckily, I've got a multimeter with clamp leads. So, um, and you can use a paper clip at this end. Um, I could find nothing that worked with the JSA to to clamp on there reliably so i just chopped it off i did for a different length so it's easier to extend uh, once you've cut it you're going to have to extend it because the length in here is fairly tight there's just not enough not enough room to get around and there's plenty of room to have heat shrink and everything and that's another thing you must know how to solder and heat shrink otherwise don't even think about this so i've got the wires and uh just kept getting absolute continuity. So to do this, you've got a multimeter, you've got to put it on the ohm setting so that when the cables are shorted, that will give you a alarm. So when the alarm drops off, you know you've got a break in the cable. So I tested them all and everything worked fine. So that's when I actually undid the gland and pulled it apart so I could have a better look. And... Uh, just while I was playing around, suddenly I started to get an intermittent failure on the blue cable. Um, so just out of interest, the diagram is looking this way. So I've got it connected into the blue cable at the moment. So I first thought it was the plug that was faulty, so I actually cut the blue cable here. Um, which just eliminates that because it was quite tight in there. I didn't, didn't really like it. So... I put it onto the uh, blue. Uh, there we go. And the other end onto the blue. I've cut it at this end because I was getting a fault, so I wanted to find out which section of which section of um, cable it was in. So we connect it into this one. Can you remember which one this thing goes? That's uh, hard to clamp on. I'm using the wrong connectors, but they're the only hands-free ones I've got. So, are we getting continuity? No, so this is where it's interesting. So, I was manipulating the cable, bending all these, bending them all over the place, these. But you have to be quite physical with the cable, and it's not until I really twist it hard. Before I was getting full-time connectivity, like that. Everything I tested, it was fine. And it wasn't until I grabbed the cable and really gave it a good twist. And one of the problems with, with fault tracing in a cable is as you move this piece, these move as well. So it's so the result is I've basically got to cut this heat shrink carefully. Hopefully it's this side and I can just reheat shrink it and put it together. But that's basically the, the fault finding I did to find the, the fault for... Uh, error code 16 
Um, anything else? It's not really anything else. Um, yeah, the main thing is you do have to extend these, so you've got to be good at soldering and heat shrink. Um, thanks for watching. Help, hopefully it's helped somebody. Again, that's the wiring if you want to take a screenshot. The rest of the cables or wires go off to the um, LED lights. So if your LED lights stop working, it's that one. It's one of those wires. I'll just do a close-up of the... Um, what I've done down here. Focus, you bastard. There you go. So I've cut that wire. That's how I went through the rest of them. And I was getting perfect continuity for ages. It was just this this last time. It just went for a second. And see now. Yeah, there you go. So it can be really hard to find. At first I thought I was, I was screwed. But no. Stoked to find the problem. Cheers.